you're welcome. In this particular video, we'll be looking at traffic, right? Now, when we are talking about the terminologies and digital marketing, the first thing I mentioned was traffic. So definitely, you already know the meaning of traffic in digital marketing. Traffic is not go slow. Traffic is not hold up. Traffic is not car jam or something, right? So that is what we know traffic as before now, right? But in digital marketing, traffic, as I earlier explained, is the number of persons that are getting to know about your business on over a given period of time. This could be on an hourly basis or a monthly basis or a yearly basis, basically, right? So the number of people that are getting that are getting to know about your business online, this is what we call traffic, right? Now, we already clearly um, defined traffic in the previous video on that terminologies. So in this particular video, I want us to look more in-depth into traffic, right? So let's talk about traffic generation. What is traffic generation? Now, you will hear the digital marketer saying, ah, I want to generate traffic. I'm just launching a new product and I want more traffic. I want to generate traffic. So what is traffic generation? So let's look at it. This can simply be defined as a way or means of generating website visitors or users because the more web user or visitors you have, the more conversion rates. Now, traffic generation, in other words, is simply the act of you getting more traffic. In digital marketing, traffic is good. Even in the traditional world, right? You will never see any hawker selling it when uh, cars are driving 100 kilometers per hour in the expressway, right? You don't see anybody hawking there. But if automatically there is a hold up or a, or, or, or a car jam or something, and there's a group of people in that particular location, from nowhere you see somebody selling something, right? Trying to hawk something, right? That means even in the traditional world, where there is large crowd, uh, it is good for marketing, right? It's good for business. So in the digital world as well, traffic generation is the art of you getting more people, generating more people, getting more people to know about your business. So we use, normally use this word called drive traffic. I'm drive, drive, driving traffic to my page. I want to drive traffic to my website. It simply means everything I'm trying to do to get more people to visit my website is the act of me what driving traffic, which is also what generating traffic. So as digital marketer, your number one job is for you to what? Drive traffic. Get people from the internet. It could be from social media to your business or from the internet to search engine to your business. It looks similar to the basic structure, um, basic structure that we saw in that particular chart in the previous video, right? If you remember, right? From the internet to search engine, to from search engine to your business, from the internet to social media, from social media to your business. So the act of you moving people from the internet to your business is what traffic generation. That means the number one job of a digital marketer is to what to generate traffic. Now let's look, let's look at it more. Now the importance of traffic generation. Now if you generate traffic, these are the things that you are entitled to, right? If you have more traffic, there is more people visiting your business online or coming to your Instagram page or Twitter page online. These are the things that you're going to have. Now, the number one importance of traffic generation is recognition. It gives you recognition on social media or on the internet as a whole. People recognize your brand anywhere they see your brand. So more people get into about your business, more recognition. Now the second one is what visibility. You become more visible to people, right? That is the more uh, and people more traffic you generate, the more visible your brand, your business, or what you're trying to trying to sell is going to have. Now the third one is rating, right? The more people see you, the more they place you in high esteem, basically, right? So the more traffic you have, you have generated, the more ratings you're going to have. Now the next one is what authority, right? The more traffic you have, people start to respect your business, they start to respect your brand, and your brand begins to have authority in its industry. Industry, right and the next one is it helps you to scale up your business the more traffic you have the more ability you have to actually scale up your business and increase your business um, to the next level and of course the last but not the least that I have there is what in it increases your what your sales of course if you have more people that are getting to know about your business the possibility of you having more sales closing more deals having more purchases on a daily basis is actually high because of traffic now is high so that's why again, right? Now, in digital marketing, we don't want to generate or drive any kind of traffic, right? So this brings us to two different categories of traffic. Now, these are the weak traffic and what? The quality traffic. So I call it the quality and the weak traffic. So what is quality traffic and what is weak traffic? Let's take a look. 
this is a traffic that fits into your buyer persona, e.g., users interested in your product or services are more likely to convert or will be looking for your product or services. Now, let me throw more light into that definition. Now, a quality traffic are people that are more interested in you or in your business. Very weak traffic are people that are less interested in your business. Now, let's say I sell um, female clothing. Like, for example, I sell gowns and stuff like that. I sell shoes, high heel shoes for females, right? Now, if I generate or drive 1,000 mil to my traffic, do you think I'm going to sell? No, I'm not going to sell, right? Because those men, they are least interested in buying female clothes, right? That means I'm generating weak traffic. So you don't want to generate weak traffic. You don't want people that are interested in your own business. You don't want to get them to your business, right? You want to generate weak traffic. Now, if I sell female clothing and I, in a daily basis, I was able to generate or drive about 1,000 females to my business, right? I just generated what? I just drove what? Quality traffic of people that are interested in that particular thing that I sell. So as a digital marketer, you want to generate traffic. Not any kind of traffic. You want to generate what? Quality traffic. So let that sink. As a digital marketer, you want to generate traffic. Not any kind of traffic, but quality traffic. Now let's take a look at the types of traffic. We have two major types of traffic. We have organic traffic and we have paid traffic. Now this also brings us to the type of marketing, right? Type of digital marketing, right? Which is also organic marketing and paid marketing. So what is organic traffic or organic marketing and also what is organic or paid marketing? Now for organic marketing, this is every form of marketing that you carried out digitally without you spending a dime. That is, you post online for free, people get, to, someone gets to see that particular post and they ask you how much is it and they bought a particular product without you running ads. So every kind of marketing that you carry out without running adverts, spending money to run that particular ad is organic marketing. And every kind of marketing that you carry out when you're spending money, right, falls on that word, paid marketing. So that's what we call paid marketing versus organic marketing. It also, also means, um, organic traffic and paid traffic. So every kind of traffic that you generate without you spending a dime or having any marketing budget is organic traffic. And any kind of traffic that you indulge in by spending money, probably you run ads for people to get to set up and start products before they click and they came to your website and buy from you, right? You did an ad. It falls under what paid traffic, right? So it depends. If you're generating paid traffic or organic traffic, but a digital marketer wants to generate the both of them. You want to indulge in organic marketing or organic traffic or paid marketing, which simply means generating paid traffic, right? Now, the middle job of a digital marketer is to generate quality traffic, not weak traffic. Let that sink. And in the next video, I'll be concluding this particular module, which is the introduction to digital marketer. So see you in my concluding video, which is the next video.